Hello everyone. In this short tutorial, I'm going to give you a, a brief tour of the different kinds of file systems that are available at Carsey. All right, so I'm going to log into Wheeler. Now the first place um, that I arrive when I log into Wheeler is my home directory. I type pwd, I can still see the full path to whatever directory I'm in. So home directories at Carsey are under users and then your username. And this storage is intended as a safe place for you to keep your data, your results, things that are not easy to recreate. So there's several different kinds of storage on Carsey. Um, there's scratch, temporary storage, project space, and home directories. Home directories are pretty fast. Um, so if I do an rsync copy, We can see that happens at about 316 megabytes per second, which is pretty fast. But the storage is fairly small. So if I um, type the quota command here, you'll see the file system that's um, being shown, which is my home directory. My currently used space, which is 159 gigabytes. And the limit of how much storage I'm allowed to use. So. I'm allowed to use up to 200 gigabytes of space. Once I hit that uh, 200 gigabyte limit, I won't be able to write any more files. If you lose a file or damage a file and you want to get it to a replacement or from backup, you can type cd dot 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 snapshots and do an ls, and you can see the history of um, of backups that have occurred. Let's go sort it by time. So the last backup that occurred is this hourly backup. Um, so 2021, August 31st at 8.05 p.m. So if I CD into that hourly backup, followed by my username, it shows me an exact copy of my home directory as it was two hours ago. And I can copy any one of these files that I might want to recover back into my home directory. I can always refer to my own home directory with the tilde. That is just short for um, users and frick. So it takes me back to my home directory. Um, just as a tip, you can also do CD minus or dash. That'll take you back to whatever directory you were in before. So if I do that again, it'll take me back into my home directory. The next kind of storage I want to show you is called Scratch, Machine Scratch. So Scratch storage is intended to be a, a working directory. It's where you keep files that you're actively working on. Maybe they're inputs to a computation or outputs that are being written. Uh, they tend to be perhaps large and you need fast access to them. So Scratch is intended to be faster than home directories, though how fast it actually is depends on how many other users are actively writing and reading from that file system, of course. But the idea is that it's not backed up, uh, but it is large. So machine Scratch is between one and two terabytes of space um, with the idea that you're cleaning it up regularly uh, and it's not backed up. Once you finish your computations, once you've finished processing those large input and output files, um, you should copy your results back to your home directory where they'll be safe. We place shortcuts in uh, your home directory so you can easily access Scratch. Um, so if I do ls, I'm just gonna search for all the Scratch shortcuts. I only want to see the directories. All right, so here are the scratch systems that are available to me right now. Uh, if they're red, it means that I cannot access it. So only when I'm logged into Taos can I access the Taos scratch. Only when I'm logged into Xena can I access Xena scratch. Since I am logged into Wheel, I'm able to CD into that. and view my files there. So 
So you see NFS Scratch is also here. This is an older Scratch system that's center-wide. We're replacing that right now with another Scratch system called Carsey Scratch. And the neat thing about Carsey Scratch is it's available from anywhere at Carsey. It's available from our data transfer node. It's available from any of the machines, but it's project space. That means that for example, I have a project under my name, the PI of this project, and its number is, is 2016-106. This is a um, machine learning project uh, on polymers. And so I'm able to keep the data I'm working on and share it with my collaborators on this project. So if I do it s dash L, I can see that uh, I'm the owner of most of these files. One of my collaborators, Victoria, is, also owns some files. But everyone in this group, in this MFRIC 2016-106 group, is able to read and write files in this CARSI project space. But no one outside of my project is able to read and write files here. And I can see who's in that directory, sorry, in that group, the getent group. And I can see the usernames of my collaborators here. So it's a great way to be able to share files with people that you're collaborating with. And you can have multiple scratch spaces um, for multiple projects. Um, since it's shared space, uh, we allow you a little bit of extra, spa extra space. So um, you can have up to three terabytes of space in Carsey Project Scratch. We also have a version of Project Scra uh, Space um, that's the equivalent of your home directory. That is, it's shared, but it's also backed up. And that's under Projects. So here are various groups that have created Project Space. Project Space is only about 250 gigabytes of shared storage because it is backed up. So it's smaller because we have to use that extra space for keeping um, a series of backups. This project space, um, like Carsey Scratch, and like your home directory, is available from any machine at Carsey. So if I log into a different cluster, like Xena, you'll see right away that my Xena Scratch is now available, but Wheel of Scratch is not. But I can still access everything in my home directory. And I can still access everything in my project space. And I can still access uh, my Carsey Scratch project space. All right, now I want to show you a file system that's only available on the compute nodes. So it's not shared across a cluster. Um, so a cluster scratch, like Wheel of Scratch, is available from every compute node in the cluster. So I can have lots of um, processes on different nodes sharing the same input files, reading the same input files from either my home directory or from uh, the cluster scratch or from Carsey Scratch. But the fastest file systems we have are only accessible by the compute node that they're on. They're actually on the compute node and they're not shared across any other machines or clusters. So let me get an interactive session on one of the debug nodes and I'll show you the, uh, the temporary file system. All right, so I'm on Wheel 304, and if I cd to temp, um, only the only place you can have access to this temp is on Wheel 304. So Wheel 302 has its own temporary file system that's not shared across different nodes in the same cluster even. A couple of useful commands for figuring out how much space you're using um, are du. So uh, du-h 
S will show in human readable format a summary of the space taken up in whatever directory I run next. All right, so there's 3.1 gigabytes being used right now in, um, in the temp storage. Another command that um, you might find interesting at least uh, is df that shows how much free space is on each of the file systems. Um, so for example, there are two scratch systems on Wheeler, uh, scratch and scratch two. Scratch is 91% full. Scratch two is 51% full. Um, our users and project space is 63% full. You can see that currency scratch is only 22% full. So the reason I show you this to you is that um, just to emphasize that scratch space, all these spaces are shared resource. So even though there are quotas that limit how much space you can use, um, if everyone were to fill up their scratch quota, we would definitely fill up Wheeler scratch very quickly and not be able to, you wouldn't be able to write and read files no, and no one else would either. Uh, so please be responsible with your space usage. Um, try and keep it uh, manageable so that you're only using the data that you need to use so that you don't uh, store for long periods of time terabytes and terabytes of data in Scratch. Uh, DU has lots of options. For example, um, I can tell it to give me a summary but only of the top level directories. So if I say max depth equals one, it will only give me a value for each of the top level directories. Um, I'm going to just see what's in this directory. Um, and I want it to give me a human readable summary. All right, so now it's telling me in each of these subdirectories of astrobiology, I have 22 gigabytes in this metabolic Metabolic Network Evolution, 60 megabytes in Palmer MSML, 7.4 gigabytes in Mass Spec ML. So that's a useful command to see what is using up your, your space, uh, especially if you start to run out of your quota. Okay, well, I hope that helped you um, decide where to keep your data. Um, working storage should be in Scratch, whether that's Carsey Scratch or um, machine or cluster scratch. If you need very fast access to files, you might benefit from putting them in your temp directory accessible from particular compute nodes. And for backed up space, uh, keep your data either in a project space um, or in your home directory. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.